Hi there, this is Anne from Adulce Scribe. Today I'm showing the tutorial on how to do the junk journal. So how to, to sew the signature, how to sew the signature to the cover because I do the signature all alone and I do the cover all alone and then I stitch them together. Once they are together, I'm gonna show you how to add, to add the beads to decorate the, the middle thread of the signature. All right, so I kept four pages from the design papers and I picked eight coffee stain paper, grungy coffee stain paper. I didn't iron them because I like them. I especially like when there is like a corner like that. Um, yeah, it makes it grungy, really grungy and I like it. So first what we need to do is to decide which paper will be the middle page. And I decided that would be that one because I'm gonna add like an envelope or uh, some sort of a smaller decoration in the middle. So this one will be my middle and it will go with three other pages. So <clears throat> I'm gonna pick three papers that goes with the middle, which is a little smaller signature than the others, uh, than the other signature. Uh, so four paper of that and then eight papers at the total. So I'm gonna put my design papers somewhere in the middle and keep, keep one for the beginning. So let's say if I start, I'm gonna put that one on that side. So when I'm gonna fold my journal, the journal will start with that and then it will go like that, like that. Maybe that one I should reverse it. Okay, it looks a little bit too similar, so I'm gonna switch a little bit. So if I do, no. Maybe I should just switch that one. So I'm playing a little bit with that to see what I want to, to show. Where is my other one? One. Oh yeah. So maybe that one in the middle, somewhere like that. this one like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna review what it looks like. So I have papers, this one, that's great. What was the other side? Okay. And of course, You can put them on one side or the other one. So really, and then you're gonna have, so if I keep going on, which will be the middle, that would look like that, like that, like that, and finish with that one. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure, place my page correctly, measure them because I want to stitch like a quarter of an inch, no, half of an inch, right in the middle. So I'm gonna show you when I'm gonna be done. But actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure, put a mark, put a mark, do the lines, and, and then I'm gonna sew on those lines. I measured my paper found the middle, did one mark at the top, one mark at the bottom, and then 
you just link the two marks that gives you the middle and then i did um half of a quarter quarter of an inch on each side i did another mark as you can see here and then i stitched it with the machine the sewing machine so what i did though is that i took the longest stitch that i can that i can take and then following that um i just need to erase uh, just with an eraser i erase my lines so it doesn't show anymore and uh, that's it so what i'm gonna do next is i took a paper bag and i have my pages this one i folded it into two and i did my line just as a guide when i'm gonna sew it uh, to make sure it follows the line so i'm gonna place all of my paper my bag so the bag in the middle and then i can just Place the paper and I'm going to put it on top. Oh, I just used one clip here when I place the paper so they, they, they hold together. So I don't need it anymore because now it's all sewn together. And I'm going to do the same for this one. And I'm going to sew this in the middle of the page. The only thing is that we want it to be a little bit shorter because when you fold it into two the middle section needs to be if it's the same size it's it's going out like that so for the pages of the middle i'm gonna trim uh, less than a quarter of an inch or if you go in millimeters like maybe two millimeters per side or three so i'm gonna trim that and then we're going to do the middle. So this one, because it, um, it has a design, I'm going to, um, I'm going to trim just a little portion on each side. And then the remaining of the papers, I usually, I tend to cut just one side, a larger piece, but just one cut. About, you know, about that. I want to match the length of the page so I'm gonna do I'm gonna trim to match my middle page because I used the because the paper is was a4 paper and I'm using litter size paper so I'm just gonna match which which side I'm gonna lose oh this is a hard decision <laughs> Alright, so 
So it's all trimmed, and now I just need. It's all trimmed, so now I just need to put to place my papers. And the bag. And I took um, a book, a music book that is coffee stained. I'm gonna place it like that. So this will be the middle of my signature. If I want to help myself a little bit, I can fold them all into two. Just because I have inserts like the bag and the, um, the music uh, sheet, it's gonna help me to place them if I have a fold in the middle. So I'm gonna do that. That bag, I trimmed that side, so it's gonna be like a pocket. So I'm going to place the bag in the middle, that's my middle section, okay, just to make sure, it doesn't need to be, doesn't, we don't care if it's in the middle more there or there, it's really like to your own taste and you could even put both, I think I'm going to put both, I love to have a bigger one and then a smaller one that is yeah, a little bit like that. They overlap. All right, so that would be my middle section that I'm gonna that I'm gonna place in the middle of the middle of that book, and and so it do the stitching like I did, just like that. So I'm going to come back. My stitching is done, so I can erase the line and this is the book. So how it works is that you have three lines here and you're going to fold the book on each line except the middle one. So the two sides, you're going to fold the whole thing. You can even take a, a, a bone stick to help it a little bit. And then you can easily see that it creates, it creates a kind of a, a spine. So this will help us to have more space it gives you it gives you space so this is what i like about that format this is the junk journal cover that i did with a big uh, envelope that i first i added some of the design paper and glued it there as you can see and so all the background is a collage of the design paper. So this is why you see a shade of, of pink uh, behind. And then I added the music sheet in the inside, the snippet roll that I did in the previous month and some envelopes from that contains little snippet so this is the the cover and the inside that I all decorated and now I'm gonna attach them together so I find the middle this is kind of it's it's an envelope so I will attach it with the signature to the cover so first I need to place it to the good place I'm going to remove the tags to give me a chance and I'm just placing where I want them to be and the best is using clips just to make sure they're not 
moving so I'll just clip so as you can see I'm doing I'm adding the clip while I hold the signature almost folded into two this is to make sure uh, they're all aligned but as well that they are in the good position for the stitching of the signature if you do that flat um, you'll kind of create a gap between your pages and and I, I don't know for me it works better that way so you might want to try both but uh, just using three clips is fine for me I don't need more than that and I place in my cover now making sure they're at the good spot and as you're gonna see I'm gonna use a big book so a dictionary open in the middle so I can put the whole thing the whole book in the middle and when I'm gonna use the um, the big needle to, to do my my holes they're gonna go straight and aligned so I make sure I do my the hole in the middle on top of the envelope because we want to have two stitches for that envelope not just one otherwise it's gonna move so I don't really measure I just go like that and for that last hole I, I keep that tool there because it keeps the hole aligned and uh, easy to find back so if we can see the three holes there and now I'm gonna I'm gonna use a tread it's a linen with wax tread a 0 0.8 size which is the best it's not too thin and it's not too big so if you want to buy some look for that size <clears throat> I find it's the best and I start in the middle I go through and then I can go to one or the other one so the up or down so I'm gonna go up And as you can see, you should not have to force to pass through. So if it, it looks like it's it won't go through easily, it's because you don't have the good angle. Now you go the opposite. So we go to the, the hole at the bottom of the page now. through both and we're gonna come back in the middle with same hole as the start make sure when you do that that you don't go through the thread because you you don't want to pass the thread in the thread otherwise you, you cannot bend the threads as you would like or as you would need so really they need to be in the same hole but not one, one passing through the other one. Now, and I usually need a tool, like you see, to pass through because the hole is, is really small. Okay, so now that we have the stitches done, it's time to remove the clips because we want to bend that thread so, so it, it holds firmly. The cover with the the inside the journal so you want to look to make sure it's not it's all aligned and it won't change anything anyway because you did the holes already but you want to make sure that uh, the tread is well tight you you make sure that the tread is in the middle so you can do a knot passing through the through the thread and then you just yeah that's it and place back uh, tags and the envelope 
but that that's it those three uh, stitches will uh, will hold the whole book with the cover and I usually keep my thread long enough so I can add beads Now I'm going to add the beads on, on the thread. So how I start is I take, I'm not sure about the name of this one. I think it, they're called blockers. So this allows you, you put them first and this will allow you to kind of um, press on them and they will kind of block on the thread so they won't move anymore so I start with the blocker and then I'm gonna put my beads so maybe start with a small one So I start, I have the blocker, move to that bit. one bead, and then I could maybe go, I love that one because they have some, that same shade, and they have a big hole, because if the hole is not big enough, you'll go nowhere. It, beads so there are some sort of beads that I can I cannot use that's for sure so I think for this one it's gonna be one small that big and another small and another blocker at the end this is the beauty of those um, wax threads. If they're not, if they want to separate, you can just press on it with your nails and they will glue back together because of the, the wax. But sometimes there's nothing to do. I just cut it and start over. Like this one, I'll just cut it to have a so this is what it will look like, and now I just need to decide where I want it. So I don't want it to be too close to the book because otherwise you kind of don't really see it. So I usually do my other one and then I decide based on how it looks, which one will be higher or which one will be the lowest. So I know because that thread is really short that this will be the higher. So I think I'm going to fix it and that shows you how it looks, uh, how to do it, and then I'm going to show you the end result. You just need a pair of, I don't know how it's called. And when I'm decided with where it's going to go, I always start with that one, the bottom one, because if it moves for a centimeter or more it won't impact so this one I just pressed and see it, it won't move anymore so looks like that and then I bring everybody everybody all the beads together and I press this one and I can make a pressure to make sure there's no gaps and I press there you go so 
you can see this is what it looks like at the end so now I'm going to do the other one I hope you enjoyed watching that tutorial and it helps um, some of you to create something similar, maybe. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye bye.